Top 10 Best Places to Visit in Manhattan Manhattan has a hot load of things to explore. If you are visiting the city for the first time, you are likely to be rushed off your feet when exploring all the different areas and sites scattered all across the neighborhoods. Hey there, this is Sash from Mind Blowing Travels. In today's video, we will go over the top 10 best places to visit in Manhattan. Number 10. Times Square Times Square is well known for its billboards, restaurants, shops and theaters. Times Square requires no introduction of any class. While you are standing in the middle of the square, you experience the time moving at its best rate ever. The Times Square became the enduring American avenue for advances in big, bright and electronic signatures and publicity. Notably, after introducing neon science in the 1920s, Times Square is amongst the busiest pedestrian hubs. It is a famous attraction and approximately 50 million tourists visit Times Square every year. This is why it is crowded to capacity during New Year's Eve for the famous fireworks show and an on-street party has been going on for ages. Number 9. Brooklyn Bridge The Brooklyn Bridge is the original bridge to be made of steel and it was constructed in 1883. It covers the East River from Manhattan. The bridge star points go to two substantial stone towers associated at the top via the Gothic-inspired curve. The bridge tower took three years and cost $15 million. At least two dozen citizens died in the process, as well as its original designer. Now more than 125 years old, this iconic feature of the New York City skyline carries about 150,000 vehicles and pedestrians every day. This bridge represents America's rich civilization and has enthused many painters, poets and writers through centuries. Number 8. Empire State Building The Empire State Building was built in a record instance period of 11 months. This iconic building was built in 1931 without any type of modern amenities of the 21st century. It is a symbol of America's grand vision and attitude towards novelty. Even finding a place in the important list of seven wonders of the world by the American Society of Civil Engineers can easily be spotted in the famous New York skyline. The Empire State Building's location in the Midtown South on the west side of the 5th Avenue flanked by West 33rd and 34th Street was urbanized in 1893. Empire State acquired the site and devised plans for a skyscraper there. The Empire State Building plan has been distorted 15 times the building's art deco structural design and height and surveillance deck has made it a popular attraction. Around a million tourists every year approximately visit the building, 86th and 102nd floor observatories all around the world. Number 7. Fifth Avenue The most well-known street and the main route of New York is Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue has held the title of best shopping arcade in America for a very long time now. It is a must on your bucket list with all the flagship stores from the top way designers lining the pathways. It is a must on your bucket list with all the flagship stores from the top way designers lining the pathways. Even non-shoppers can visit this place and enjoy a hot latte with a bodily view from some roadside cafe. The Big Apple's most famous road is 5th Avenue and also now Millionaire's Row. We can contrast this income to the Champ Elysees in Paris and Ginza in Tokyo. Number 6. Central Park If Manhattan is the spirit of New York, then Central Park is its heartbeat. Manhattan is not anything without its central and primal park. Ideally, the city center, the Central Park gets 40 million visitors from far and wide, from far and extensive every year. Central Park is a city park located between the Upper West and Upper East side of Manhattan. It is the fifth largest fraction of the city by area, encasing 843 acres. It is the most viewed urban park in the United States, and it is the most filmed location in the world. America has seen innumerable movies and TV series made based on the Central Park idea. A small tip, do stay in strawberry fields, zoos, and the lake, particularly in winter when it becomes a skating land for New Yorkers. Number 5. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty is a kind and glorious gift given by France to America and was built in 1886. It is the most famous symbol of freedom. A giant statue of 152 feet stands unaccompanied near the New York Harbor. You need to get a permit to see the view of Manhattan and New York Harbor from 152 feet in height. Did you know the Statue of Liberty's base contains a display on the monument's history, counting the original 1886 torch? 
Tourists' right to use the Statue of Liberty torch was halted for good after German functioning. The island on which it was built had been christened. You should not miss the chance of getting near it whenever possible. So what are you waiting for? Book your tickets and head over to the fame of this beautiful monument. Number 4. Wall Street Wall Street is generally noted as both the symbol and geographical center of American capitalism. Emblematically, Wall Street referred to all the banks, evaded funds, and securities traders that forced the stock market and the entire American financial system. All landmarks of Manhattan is so iconic that it is a hard call to make. Nevertheless, the letter starts with the famous outrageous world of money minters. Wall Street stretches eight blocks preliminary from Broadway to South Street and is a residence to some of the famous exchange centers from the world. It is a must visit with its imposing skyscrapers and a huge number of the stylish decent trader and exhausting dark sunglasses. Number 3. New York Public Library The New York Public Library is alienated into several branches spread across New York City. One of the major branches of the public library is in Manhattan, intended towards the box art style, which is a must visit for its use, superbly decorated rooms, and has been featured in a variety of Hollywood movies and foreign movies alike. The main branch was built and soon after, the New York Public Library was shaped as a mixture of two libraries in the late 1890s. Even for a person who runs away from the book, this place will astonish you due to how huge it is. Book lovers can spend quality time with their family and friends. Number 2. Metropolitan Museum of Art Metropolitan Museum of Art is the main and the most inclusive art museum in New York City and one of the world's leading. The museum was built in 1870 and opened two years later. The Metropolitan Museum of Art has a lasting collection consisting of works of art from traditional ancient times and ancient Egypt. There are paintings and structures from almost all the European masters and a vast American and modern art collection. In Metropolitan Museum, preservation wide folding of African, Asian, Oceania, and Islamic art. The museum frequently hosts notable special exhibitions after focusing on one performer's work that has been loaned to museums and sources for the display period. The Metropolitan Museum of Art was founded in 1870 to breach a museum to carry art and teaching to the American people. Number 1. Rockefeller Center Rockefeller Center is now distant and broad as one of Manhattan's most iconic attractions. It's where they decorate Christmas trees and are illuminated. Saturday Night Life and the show are taped, and standing ice skaters create the rounds on a rink surrounded by hundreds of international flags. Rockefeller Center is located in the spirit of Midtown. Rockefeller Center is an art deco complex collected from 19 grand buildings. It is a residence to a network of businesses, television studios, shopping and dining choices, status artwork, and structural design. As it is one of the first community areas in New York City to comprise art through its plans, Rockefeller Center abounds with cravings, inscriptions, and gilded sculptures on behalf of science, industry, and the creative spirit. There are wealthy walkways, mountains, charming floral displays, and statues all through. Rockefeller Center's oldest and most well-known arrangement is the General Electric Building. This landmark skyscraper was one time used to house the individual office room of the Rockefeller family. Nowadays, it's the mixer's nerve center between all buildings through a subversive network known as the open space. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.